They told me for years there was no money in podcasting. Well, they were all wrong. So, do you refrigerate ketchup? Uh, yes. I do. Yeah, after you open it. Okay. Some people don't. I don't like ketchup, though. I don't like ketchup Wait, either. But, like, I think we should, we, should, we should expand upon this. Yeah. Do you... Do you refrigerate bread? So that that's like very different in every household. Uh, sometimes we'll freeze it. You freeze the bread. Yeah, because usually I feel like in my house we get bread. We usually eat all that bread. Unless it's like we, for some reason, somebody gives us bread or something. My sister's like a baker, so that's not like a crazy thing. Oh, this to people just giving you bread. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had, after I said that, I was like, "Who the hell would do that?" But <laughs> now, now he's just so poor, his neighbors have to give him bread. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like sometimes we'll like freeze bread it's if we know man, we're not going to eat it immediately. <laughs> my my, my, grand, my grandparents would freeze bread. Although my grandmother keeps everything, dude. Out in Nash, I don't know if you know this, but my grandmother has a a jar of like grease like bacon grease that's been dated back since the 60s in the back of her fridge it's like fermenting yeah yeah that's that's what i that that, that look oh. i'm gonna screenshot that look and i'm gonna oh. put it on my desktop because that's exactly <laughs> that's how a, i that's felt a, that's a meme right there that's a fucking look it's like when you found out you've been the, the grease you put in your hair has been it's sitting in the fridge since oh the 60s. it's used for your hair no 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 i'm just saying that oh i don't i have no idea what she uses it for i just know she saves it <laughs> are you putting this grease in your grandma's hair <laughs> <laughs> no, not my mimi but no she's got, she's got a jar of fucking grease so i guess she refrigerates that but she doesn't refrigerate ketchup <laughs> dude honestly Honestly, if you eat that, there's a chance you get polio. <laughs> Dude, it's the weirdest thing. Like, I know, I know people of like her age. I guess, because uh, I guess they'd be the lost generation. Which generation we talked about two weeks ago? Which generation would they have been? The uh, the greatest the generation, silent, the, silent. the silent generation. I guess they're so silent they don't tell people to keep grease in their kitchen, in their, in their fridge for sixty years. <laughs> All right, let me. What do you do, Will? What, what, what do you do? Do you you refrigerate with ketchup? Oh, ketchup, bread, and then. We're gonna talk about syrup. These are the things. Batteries. Okay. Uh, I I do. I refrigerate ketchup always. Me too. Like well, always. Wait, wait. You say when you bring it from home from the grocery store, it gets refrigerated. Right in the fridge. Oh no! See, only if I open it. Yeah. 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 See, I don't know. But I, I I'm also with Nash. I also don't really like ketchup. I think there's a question on there. Do you put mac and cheese on ketchup? There or ketchup is, and mac and is, cheese. Oh, I just want to lump that in there too. So, uh, people people have put ketchup on mac and cheese, which I think is very weird. Yeah. Uh, it's it's an it's an Irish thing. People from Boston do it all the time. At least growing up, they did. I know some people that do that too. Yeah, I think it's disgusting. But uh, I put ketchup on anything. Yeah. I put I put ketchup on broccoli. I'm like, do you really? Yeah, it's actually pretty. Good. <laughs> really? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Ew, that's not disgusting. You got to try it, man. Ketchup, no, I don't. Ketchup, <laughs> I ketchup don't. Ketchup is a universal thing. You can almost put it on anything. Almost. That's true. That's fine. Almost. It's what what is ketchup? Ketchup is just what tomatoes and vinegar. And what all the extra other and shit. sugar, all the extra sugar, sugar. <laughs> yeah, a lot of sugar, some vinegar, some ketchup and water, and some ketchup. Yeah, ketchup and ketchup, no shit. Tomatoes and water. <laughs> you, you, blend it, you blend it all up, pakalugi, and you call it ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> but look, I, I, I can say why. Why do you refrigerate ketchup though? Because mustard doesn't need to be refrigerated. You can keep mustard in the cabinet until forever. I refrigerate mustard. I also refrigerate. I refrigerate all condiments. I refrigerate mayonnaise. Like I know some people don't put mayonnaise. Some people don't put jelly in the fridge. Check it out. Oh, right, so we got. Oh, okay. Bottom ingredients: tomato concentrate from red ripe tomato. Oh, yeah, of course they're red. No shit. Uh, distilled vinegar, high fructose corn syrup. God damn, it's in everything. Corn syrup, <laughs> salt, spice, onion powder, and natural flavoring, which just means. <laughs> Cool. Yo. <laughs> Chemicals. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's the natural flavor in Will? <laughs> Hawk and Luke's my ketchup man. <laughs> it's good to toast the protein. That's all I'm saying. All right. So, uh, what about syrup? What do you what? do with syrup? I never refrigerate syrup. No, no, nah, because I, I get like, too I hard. I don't like how you like. It's like you turn upside down, it just gets stuck. You go, and, and you got the people who do that. You've been, you know, if you ever been to their house and that you see them like struggle to pour it into a cup, and then they put it in the microwave, and it's like, <laughs> why just, why not, <laughs> why not just leave it? You're like, you're like, bro, you're not supposed to put the plastic in the microwave. That's another. Thing. <laughs> That's another thing. I've never seen someone who uh, refrigerates syrup. That's an interesting one. 
It's a little bit insane. My girlfriend doesn't like syrup, and I was very upset when she told me that. Man. It's like, she'll, she'll eat pancakes or French toast. It's dry. It's, oh, it's, oh, it's, oh, it's bread. Oh. It's just bread. It's just bread. No, it's, no butter? It's, it's, bread. Egged, it's egged bread with some butter, but like no syrup, nothing. Not even jam. Oh, my God. Nothing. Her pancakes nothing. are probably very seasoned to make <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a spice. It's a cin- <laughs> she pours cinnamon on them. Yeah, it's just cumin. Bana- <laughs> I think like banana pancakes is probably... Well, when you get into flavored pancakes, you don't have to use as much. Yeah, like that's what yeah, I'm saying. Fine. I think bananas, I would probably use the least syrup because bananas are so sweet already. Yeah, agreed. And pancakes themselves can be pretty sweet as well, depending on how much sugar you put in them and whatnot. Yo, it's okay. Is making pancakes hard? Like, uh, uh, I'd say no. I've never had an issue. Have, like, you, have you made pancakes successfully? Yeah. Then no, it's not hard. No, I'm saying like <laughs> to, some to make, people you think. Have to, what's the standard? Because you can make pancakes and you could make really good pancakes, but to make a pancake, dude, the instructions are on the box. You just it's like, can you make Easy Mac? It's like you you put the batter in a bowl with some milk, you swirl it. No, up. I'm saying like cooking it right and like flipping it, like flipping that it. aspect of it. Yeah. Like I don't think that's that hard, but I've met many many a people, many a person, <laughs> many. many people. All, right, all right, so when you when you make pancakes, Nash, do you? The thi- pancake making pancakes i've never i've never thought it's hard i think it's one of the easiest things you can do it is and i don't know i was just trying to get some more consensus if you guys think making pancakes <laughs> is a really difficult I mean, task I, mean, I, mean, okay. I need answers on this the, the first the first flip is hard but what you don't do is rookie mistake you don't do one pancake per pan you do four you do four small pancakes in each corner and you flip each of them why you say that's a rookie mistake? Because the big one, if you do this one giant one, and you just have this little spatula, you're gonna fuck it up. Well, when I'm now some people just go woo. I, like <laughs> when I was younger, my father made he made he made breakfast every Sunday. It was like a yep. tradition. And my dad too. He's he's an amazing cook, like all across the board. Anybody can make breakfast, but this guy, he'd be like, "You want Chinese? You want this? You want? <laughs> I got you." <laughs> Hooks it up. Um, but he would do he would do one. Because he'd make you know decent sized pancakes depending on the size of the pan, but probably one, one in a pan, or he he put on the griddle and do a couple at once, but all decent sized. But have you heard of? I always say the first pancake is the test. You you always mess up yeah. the first pancake. Yeah. Because yeah, you gotta wait for the pan to get hot. Right. Because like you know, that's just the way it's done. First pancake, it can be a little bit messed up, but then after that, they they start coming out pretty. It's easy. easy. Well, you're supposed to butter the pan. Do you use butter? Yeah, you butter the pan. No, no, I know, I know. You have to butter it, but some people use Pam, some people use coconut oil, some people use butter. I would prefer butter I burns. Would, I butter, would, butter, you know. Butter does burn, but I would prefer butter because it's, it's it's a nice lubricant for the whole pan. Lubricant. Like if you use like if you use like <laughs> like if you use if you use <laughs> olive oil, we got talk. That's so devious. <laughs> lube. You gotta lube up your pans for the pancakes, man. It just gets slides in nice and easy. The batter just goes woo. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Such a graphic. <laughs> no, yeah. If you're not making, if you're not making pancakes, he, he can't just raw pan the pancakes. That's it. It would get, <laughs> it would get stuck. It would just stick. Yeah, you're, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> imagine, imagine, okay, all right. The dumbest cooking mistake I ever made. I, I was like maybe nine. I tried making oatmeal and I didn't put any water, milk, or anything. <laughs> I just put a bowl of oats in the microwave. Ooh. Oh, I was God. like, I was like, fire. I was like, why isn't this working? And I tried it like three or four times. Like, it's like, this says 60 second oatmeal. I put it for like four minutes. <laughs> it's not turning to mush. What's well, here's, going on? here's the thing, though. Dude, like, the, the oats on top, it looked like nothing had happened, but I took a fork and like tried to swish them around and they were black. <laughs> they were burnt. <laughs> it was bad. Be- <laughs> Did you eat it? Did you eat it? No. What do you mean? No, I couldn't eat it. It. I have Crohn's. I shouldn't be eating to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> he shouldn't have even been making it in the first place. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I'm, I'm here making fun of people who can't make pancakes. I couldn't make fucking oatmeal. And it says the instructions on the box. It's like, wow, I should have thought to add water. Yeah, so that was bad. That was bad. I, <laughs> I, I, as a kid, I broke our microwave because my brother's room um, was in between uh or our kitchen was in between where our internet was set up and 
my brother's room and if you turn the microwave on it shut off his internet for like as long as the microwave was on so he'd be like playing call of duty and i'd just run over and click five seconds on the microwave and then drop him but i did it like three times and the microwave just died because it cooks itself you gotta have something in the microwave or it'll cook itself <laughs> I didn't know that. You're not, you're not supposed to just run uh, an empty microwave. Yeah, don't really, do that. Really, really. Why? Yeah. Why? What happened? Like, I know it cooks itself, but like, how is it? So if you put food in there, how is it not still cook itself? Like the microwave is like, whoa, 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 whoa hold up. I, I'm <laughs> assuming it's in all, here. <laughs> I'm assuming it's all getting absorbed, or enough of it is getting absorbed by the food in there, or whatever is in there, like water. Whereas if it's not, I guess it's just bouncing off the inside, or it's heating up the you know shell the casing on the inside and that could probably probably damages stuff that are touching the shell on the other side interesting christian google that because i'm curious google it and google it and yeah and let's see what we got there because uh i know some people would like instead of doing a timer those do two minutes on a microwave and just let it run instead of doing the timer like yeah it's, it's less buttons yeah, no, nah, you're definitely not supposed to do that. I remember, I remember my friend in middle school told me that when he was a kid, he uh, took a dump and took a bowl, scooped it out of the scooped it out of the toilet, and microwaved it. What? Yeah, that, I thought that was very weird. Yeah, that's that's what I said. That look on your face right there—that's pretty much what concerned. I gave him. Yeah, I was very concerned. We went to the same college. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it. I said my friend. Did. <laughs> All right. So when the oven is empty, none or almost none of the microwaves are absorbed. A large amount of energy reflects around the oven chamber, resulting in a large standing waves that can damage the unit. If the microwave works after it's been run while empty, then the unit is no shit. Like thanks. If, if, <laughs> if, if it, it works, if, it works. <laughs> if it still works. It's safe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Nash, as per usual, you were right. Is yeah, he, he was right. <laughs> it's he, he it's was. it's pretty much just yeah. It's the waves just fuck each other up. They all going ah. <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> the part the function gets too lit. <laughs> uh, all right, that was fun. All Christian, right. next next question. What we got? Next.